Hi, Giant Space Robot here. I'm just going to take you through my new mapping for Machine Jam, the tractor, and a visualizer. So it's expanding upon the previous mapping that I did. The links are down below. Uh, and it's basically the idea is that you play the music out of tractor, visualizer responds to it, but it also responds to the controls in tractor, such as filters and echoes and so on. So let me just take you through it. So here you can see on screen, now basically I've taken a few visualizers that I found. Um, they're all credited in the in the acknowledgements document. This one is called Oblivion. It's one of the best visualizers I've come across. It responds really nicely to um, the music, as you can see. Let's pump that up. Good. It's very tactile. It responds really quickly. It's, it's really good, especially music that drops out and comes back in and so on. Very, very nice. Uh, and on this mapping, you've got ways of controlling the visualizer. So for example, this button turns on a waveform and this control basically sets the sensitivity of that waveform. Turn off. These two buttons are options specific to this visualizer. So this basically leaves a persistence on so it doesn't clear the screen and turns it off. And this one simply makes it more dramatic. Just draws a big circle on the outside. Uh, down here, we can turn it into a kaleidoscope effect, which isn't very visible here, but I'll show you that later. And this button basically changes the color of the background in time to the beat, or go back. Here, using this one, you can change the palette, a dark palette. There's a set of configurable palettes that you can cycle through just by turning the browse knob, and you can flip between black and white just by pressing that knob down. Uh, this slider here basically is a sensitivity, not very sensitive, very sensitive, and so on. So that's the, the basics, but now let's show a few other things that it can do. So I've got a track playing. Here's the filter. If I turn that filter up, you can see how it blurs on the screen, and it's linked into the degree of filter. So it's a really nice effect. Uh, another thing you can do is if here I go and I turn the echo, so this is track A, so let's get that going, and I put an echo on, you can see how it puts in, it's called a Sobel filter, and so that comes on while you engage the echo. And over here we have some glitch effects, so let's turn on deck A here and put on, and you can see how we have a glitch effect. So I've tried to tie in sort of visual feedback, um, with the audio feedback. And they all overlay on each other, so if I do this and this, you can see how they both work together. And if I'm filtering, and then... So it's just really good fun to play with, basically. There are three visualizers built in, so this one is Oblivion. This one is called Sprocket. Now, in this case, the buttons basically operate in similar ways. They tweak aspects of the, of the visualizer. So let's turn on the waveform. This basically turns off the clearing, so you get sort of a more messy sort of screen. And this one changes the color from a linear color to a random color. So, and then down here we can set the sensitivity once again. Massively sensitive, not very sensitive. And then the last visualizer is this one, Candy Warp. And in this case, basically you got a lovely pattern that responds to the music. These buttons aren't functional here, but this browse knob basically changes which frequency range you're responding to. So if I put it up to the higher pitches, you can see there's not as much high pitch information here, so it's flickering on and off. And if I go for the bottom end, then I get a really good response. So once again, that's the basics. Um, these controls here, I'll take you through a few other bits, but before that, let's go to page seven on this. And now we can, let's go back to Oblivion. This range of buttons here are programmed with configurable sets of words, basically. So let me just turn it on because it will make more sense. And basically, you put a sentence into it and it steps to the sentence beat by beat. And you can toggle them off and on and have great fun. Just putting some nice words in. So that's, that's one thing. The other thing is these buttons here, these banks, there's eight banks for each deck. So this is deck A, so this is this set. And effectively, when you hit a hot cue, there's an image associated with it. And if I select that, a different set of images. And another set. Or, and each, each deck can have eight different images assigned to, um, to the hot cues. And you can 
Okay, this is a directory full of images. Documentation covers how you change them, and you can have your own sets of images. And then this bank at the bottom, these are post-processing effects. So if I turn on using that button, uh, and then choose post-processing effects, you can see this one is color modifier. Uh, these two sliders, they basically change aspects of it. So this one is a pixelated view, so that's very pixelated, less pixelated. Um, and this one is a offset mode, so it's that black, and we can do that sort of thing. So it's basically offsetting the red and the green. Um, this is a black and white model, so this one is a sensitivity. You can just turn it from black and white. Um, and then there's just different variations of these things. So one of my favorites, more pixelated ones, but different in nature. And so on. So there's just a whole bank of them. This, this is a half tone one where you can change the scale of the half tone. Like that. And basically, you can have fun. Turn off the words. That's the basics of it. A few other things in here is each of these um, visualizers has some controls here. So this control is the rotation rate. Let's change that color to one that's a bit brighter. Like that. So we have a rotation rate back and forwards. And our transparent the colors are. Let's go to this. And the reason I really like this one is because if you combine it with this function, you get this kaleidoscope effect. So that's it off. Let's just change the color. Let's turn off that post-processing effect. Turn down the sensitivity. See that? Put on the um, kaleidoscope. Put on the waveform. And you've just got lots of things you can play with. This is going across the candy warp again. Now all the code for this stuff has been provided. You can download it. Um, it's all, all there. There's plenty of documentation for it. If you are technically minded and can do a bit of programming, it uses a framework called Processing, which is quite a nice framework for things that I'd encourage you to play with it and uh, be interested in your ideas and any contributions you want to make to the code base. So that's the gist of it. There's a video link below which shows you me using it for a set I did a while back. Um, have fun. Thank you.